we came out to Rancho Bonita in Zephyr Hills, Florida today. This is actually my local off-road park. It's the closest one to me. I've only been out here once, uh, a couple videos back where I did the stuck uh, Jeep Gladiator where it took two Jeeps to winch it out. That was in the parking lot of uh, Rancho. And uh, today I just, I mean, on Sunday, I wasn't doing nothing. I said, let me, let me go check it out and go exploring a little bit more. Came out here by myself, solo, but I did link up with a couple other guys. They're just cruising around. Uh, I talked to him for a minute and uh, said I was gonna follow them around for a little bit. And they're more than happy with that. So, but I'll see, see what type of content we can get today. This place is awesome. I mean, they're just mud holes. We've been driving for, for a minute already. So he just told me this is called clay hole and to never go in it. And uh, I, I believe him when he says that, cause there's, you know, this, the size of these trucks down here in Florida, he said there's a uh, mega trucks getting stuck in there. So, and there's actually a floating croc, like a, like a shoe. There's just a random croc floating around in it. All right, Deb. I'm still in two wheel drive, but I'm about to have to switch it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put her in four low now. Pretty much I go, uh, I always go two wheel drive until I have to have four wheel drive and then it's straight to four low. I almost never use four high. Uh, my Jeep does not have enough power to, to spin the tires in four high and stuff like this. So it's either two wheel drive or four low for me. And generally, if you're in any, any obstacles, any significant obstacle, you wanna be in four low anyways. Deep mud holes, steep inclines, rocks. Um, you wanna be four low for that stuff. The only time you're usually four high is you know dirt roads like this and then uh you know maybe ice what stuff like that but for average off-roaders uh four low is kind of what you use the most so we just found this little spot back here there's just so many side trails off the main road um, and this is all private property it's not public land it is a uh, they sell deeds so anyone can buy a deed to the property and come out here in four wheel but I mean, I love this type of stuff. It's just, this is awesome terrain. These are some deep holes. It gets real muddy, real sloppy. Pretty cool spot. I was thinking about trying to get this, but I feel like I had high center on this and end up doing the turtle. Cool spot. Well, I made it through this, and now we're gonna try and get the XJ back here. Yep. Straighten it out and you're good. Go uh, driver a little bit, driver, driver. Yeah. Right there, you should be good. Yep. Yep. That's it. Keep going.
All right, so now before we get too far into this, I'm gonna get out and walk and see what we're dealing with because it is pretty tight in here. It gets hard to turn around in most areas. And then uh, this side back here looks like it's kind of overgrown. Oh yeah, that's a good hole right there. That's definitely uh, one to bottom out on. And look at that. I mean, you can tell that hasn't been gone through in forever. Uh, but let's keep following it and see where it goes. <laughs> oh, that's sketch. That's yeah, there you go. Into the trail for us. Woo! And then I think, yeah, this is the other crossing back here. Yep, and that's where we just were a second ago. Rain and mud. Four wheel drive crawls right out. Should have dropped off for a second, huh? <laughs> So we found a cool little spot out here, kind of hidden off towards the back. Anybody that's familiar with this area, I'm sure you know where this is at. But for me, this is my first time. So, I mean, this is pretty cool stuff. I'm in love with this place. This is my local park. So, I mean, shoot, you can't beat it. You know, I used to live in the uh, Sacramento, California area and we had Prairie City. And I've been there literally, I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you, I've probably been there 200 times. So it's fun, but it's small, but this place being larger and then terrain like this this is all new to me like i really really like this type of stuff but uh i creeped into this one for a split second and then it dropped off a little bit I couldn't tell i mean you don't know if this is a foot deep or three feet deep and without having a snorkel i don't want to test my luck so we're waiting on the the kids over here on the side by side to come back through and they're going to be our guinea pig and test it <laughs> You're done. All right. Well, let's throw the little kinetic robe on it.
close. It's because that guy's not pulling. Yep. Oh, okay. Alright, here's that spot. Oh yeah, it's gonna drop on the Yeah. Oops, good. There it goes. <laughs> oh, you got it. Just back out. You're good already. No, no, no. It looked like it was going for a second. That depends if the wind's pulled tight or not. Stand over here. Don't lean this way, lean the other way. successful recovery mission. They warned me about earlier called Clay's Hole. They said don't go in it. Um, I guess they did not get the memo. Hell, you can see on the other side. Dang. Hey! Woo, buddy! I'm up high and you fell! <laughs> you had to get out of it. That ain't gonna happen. I'm in a winch. We might have got ourselves our recovery. Come in from that side. No? Over there, maybe? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Woo! safest way to do this but that's what these Florida boys do I can winch it out fairly easy if you guys want. Turn, turn. 
turn this way a little bit. You gotta come this way a little bit. Oh, wait. He's done now. Alright. Alright, I got you. <laughs> Alright, now it's. We're gonna hook up the snatch block and winch these out real quick. Alright, so, so we got it. Snatch block off of that tree. And uh, he's coming right out. I gotta watch my bag down there, make sure it doesn't get in the block. I'll have him move the, you wanna grab that? Yes, sir. Can you move it back for me? Grab that winch blanket. But yeah, he's coming out. Then we'll get the other one out the same exact way. We're gonna do the same thing. size of those holes down there. You got yep. extra I do. See if that field works. See if the ATV starts. And then we'll we set those dead. Nothing.
Well, I am back home. That was a fun day. I realized I did not record an outro, so here I am. Um, I'm gonna start giving away an item per video. So, a pair of soft shackles, 42,000 pound brake strength, half inch. Um, each video, all you gotta do is comment. Be a subscriber, comment something positive, and we'll, we will pick a random comment. I will mellow you guys out a brand new pair of soft shackles. Each video, it may be a different product. But also, um, so you guys know I do the volunteer-based Facebook groups for each state, but we're finding there's a, there's a lot of people out there that don't have Facebook, and they use websites. So we teamed up with uh, another organization called offroadportal.com. Check those guys out. Um, and he is part of all of our Facebook groups as well. So we're just kind of networking together with this. So for all of you that do not use Facebook, I, I totally get it. Um, you check out Offroad Portal. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it's offroadportal.org. It's .org, not .com. Go on there. If you need help, uh, make a post, and then they will relay that information throughout their network and my Facebook group. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and until next time.